What is one thing that you've never told your ex? I did 50 guys in one night. And I'm going to come out and say the truth, it was more like 37. Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Now listen, that is your first time watching my video and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. Click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that, y'all. I'm moving forward. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on today. We're going to pull it apart, y'all. Let's dive into it. I promise you yes. right now, if every yeah. woman came together and made a stand and said, we will not fuck any more narcissists yes. and psychopaths, like, yeah. what would happen? Hold on. What would happen? <laughs> Do you guys understand how natural selection works? If you selected, all of you selected against men who are assholes and are psychopaths and narcissists, what would happen to them? This is an indefatigable truth. They would disappear. Yeah. But you don't. But we're we toxic and we like toxic men. Thank, Thank you. I mean, you Hillary, Hillary, you. Hillary just Thank skipped you. to the final, yes. the, right. my final well, point. Most, yes. most oh, narcissists are... are yeah, yeah, correct. It, Hold on, but, but my thing is, my, 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 point, my point is, I can, uh, maybe not all of you, but mm -hmm. most of you have gone on a date with a guy who was super fucking nice. And if you rewarded that behavior, then the world would be full of nice 100%. men. But you <laughs> did, you left that date. We and go you for went, toxic. And you went home and you told your roommate about how you had a nice date and he was kind of fun. And then you went I to go. my own dick. And then you went to go <laughs> fuck your toxic ex. Damn! That's the truth, man. That is the truth. You know, man, shout out to him. He's speaking facts because, again, like he just said, if women would choose better men, then men will start acting better. But these guys are going to, it's a lot of men that's playing bad boy because they know it get results. That's the only reason why they're doing it. That was a fact. Let's dive into the next one. What is one thing that you've never told your ex? I f***ed his grandpa while he wasn't home at work. <laughs> his grandpa? His grandpa. Wait. What? Yeah, not his grandpa. His grandpa. I have a guilt fetish. A guilt fetish? Yeah. Is that a grandpa? Yeah. Fetish? Mm -hmm. Silver foxes, salt and pepper. How old was his grandpa? His grandpa was about, I think, 62. Ish. <laughs> and what made you want to f him? Like, how did it start? I mean, he was always the type to make, like, those really sly jokes, just in general. And so one day we were in the house by ourselves and he had made a joke that, um, I had took serious. I mean, I knew it was a joke, but I wanted it to be serious. What was the joke? He had said something about my shorts, like, oh, if they get any shorter, I'm going to be able to see everything. And I was like, well, do you want to? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Damn! You are a hoe! Just because a man says, if your shorts can be sh any shorter, I can see anything, he's pretty much letting you know that you're appropriate, but you decide to take it an extra mile and say, do you want to? You know, and, and it go a little back a little bit. What did she say? I have a fetish for gifts. Say, I got to bet my money on it. She got daddy issues. She's obsessed with this older man thing because she got some daddy issues. You have to be a sick, mentally ill human being as a woman to want to get stroked by your boy, your ex-boyfriend's grandpa. And of course the grandpa ain't gonna say no. I mean, she's an attractive girl, at least with the makeup on, right, y'all? Of course the grandfather ain't gonna say no. He gonna dive in and splash like swim time. Of course. I'm swimming in the pool. Me feel it, Ridiculous, man. And then not only that, saying it with a smile on her face. Now, the next thing this guy, he's going to interview a woman that's from um, Ireland. You know, she's from Europe. Listen to the mindset and the understanding of the woman that's from overseas. And then listen to the dialect of the conversation for the woman that's American. What's harder, a man trying to impress a woman or a woman trying to impress a man? What? What's harder? Um, I think maybe a man trying to impress a woman. Because women are kind of crazy, no? Why you say that? Because they have high standards and they're like, I want this, I want that. Don't speak to me, you're wearing these shoes. And yeah, I feel like men are very easygoing people. They're like, oh, she's beautiful, let's go for her. But women are like, no, look at his shoes. Oh. No. So, so why are women so picky? I'm not like that, but women are, I, they're crazy, really, they're fucking, I don't know why they're like this. Really. Well, do you think they're crazy in Ireland or, or oh, in, a, in America? Oh, everywhere. I've only been here two weeks, but I can imagine they're crazier here, I don't know why. <laughs> Where 
ain't never last. You ain't never last. You ain't never last. I mean, in Miami, it is literally all luxury sports cars everywhere. The women here are stunning. They really are stunning. Like, if these women went to Ireland, they'd be like, what the fuck are these people wearing? But do you think that most American men would want to go for the American woman or foreign woman like you? I think a foreign woman. Because people want what they don't have. So, like, in Ireland, we don't have people like you. So when I see people like you, I'm like, shit, man. Wait, like, people like me like who are... We don't have oh, people. black people? <laughs> Not black people, but yeah, color people, okay. Mexican people. We don't have Mexican people. We don't have Filipino. We don't have. Right. We have Indian, but not too much. So when we see them here and they dress amazing, and they look. It's like wow. It's like you want what you can have, no? So do you want dark chocolate? Dark chocolate is my favorite, especially when it's eighty-five percent. <laughs> well, I'm a hundred percent dark chocolate. Shit, man! That's maybe too bitter for me. <laughs> But 85% I can do. Are you a man or a boy? Because she's ready. Now notice how she said, if these girls in America would have came to Ireland, women would have been looking to her like, what the is she wearing? And if you notice how, see how easy and smooth the conversation was? See how she was flirting with him? I like dark, dark chocolate. This, listen, I want y'all to see this. This is a small fragment of, this is how it be overseas, man. Women will move to you. Literally, just smooth, smooth. And what did she say? Women want what they don't have. That is a fact. But we're gonna dive into the next one. Now it's time for y'all to see what the American girls say. Watch this. How much would you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? How would I rate myself? Um, I would rate myself like a $3 million, like if it was one to 10, like put me on like, um, you know that show where like they be pointing out the letters, you gotta make the words. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know that show? Not really, no. Um, that show is so old, where the white lady walking across the stage. Oh, you yeah. mean Wheel of Fortune? Mix, right? My Wheel of black. Fortune? My uncle is black. You know that? You're black. Where are you from? You from Mississippi? I'm from Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica. You were born in Jamaica? Born and raised, yeah. So where you live out in Miami? I don't live here. I'm not foreign. You know what I mean? Like, but I'm tell me something, though. Different. Tell me something, right? So you think when a man looks at you, He's gonna think, damn, she's a 10 out of 10. She's a 3 million. He thinks like, damn, I need to fuck this bitch. Like, just like that, I need to hump her ass. That's what everybody think about me. Well, a man doesn't have to think you're a 10 out of 10 to want to sleep with you. I mean, like, you'd be surprised. Like, I have anybody fuck me. Like, you know, I have a lot of people just buy me stuff. They don't even want to fuck. They just want to look at me. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like that sometimes. So do you think that that makes you an object of just, you know, sex? Or is it something else? No, it's not an object. Like, you know, like sometimes you just gotta be like, you're a woman, you need that pussy stretch and that pussy pop. You know what I mean? Like, you need that pussy pop. Sometimes you need that pussy pop. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me? Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. Think are you? Dumb. Now, you see, did you hear the dialect in this conversation versus the conversation with the other girl that's from Ireland? Do you see how low IQ her mom was? What did she say? Oh no, some in the way she was talking, some man is just want to take me out on the day just to see my face and give me money. See, all these simps out here is enabling the behavior. And then what she say after that? Sometimes you just need that pussy popped. I mean, get that pussy stretched. You know these guys only look at you for one thing. And then her mindset is getting her pee popped and her pee stretched. <laughs> He's, I'm, this is what I try to tell y'all, man. Get y'all passports. <laughs> so y'all, Because once you see it, you can't unsee it, man. Look at this. This is reality. Mo, and I hate to say it. Most girls who are very attractive like that in America think and act this way. It's the truth. The infamous, you have 50 guys in one night. I did 50 guys in one night. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to come out and say the truth. It was more like 37. Damn. <laughs> you are a hoe. So it wasn't actually 50. It just felt like a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I was in there for like two, three hours. Like I didn't have a head count. Did every guy in that 50 person that night, did every guy? Um, no. 
I don't like to, I don't care about making a guy during a because I just want the visual of them being in me for 30 seconds before I like kick them out. So I feel like some of them me, like I think like 22 of them like covered me in that and the rest just kind of like hung out. But you every single one that was there. Yeah, I'm a community girl. A community girl? Yeah. Thirty-seven guys in one night, in two hours, twenty-two of them left. Come all on you, and then the other man was nasty enough to stroke after. Him? It's that much of a drought to try to get some buns that you willing to stroke a woman that got multiple other men's DNA on you. And she said, "All I just wanted to see was the thirty-second visual." You're an Asian woman. You are a disgrace to the Asian community. Say this was my daughter. I would denounce you. I would disown you. You could never call me or talk to me again. There's no way in the world you're going to be my child. I raise you. You go on social media, sit down with a smile on your face and say, you got stroked in two hours by 37 dudes. I would disown you. you I mean, for every guy listening, watching, she said it. I'm community property. She letting it be known. So ain't no dude should be going out. Any man to go out here and decide to wipe this girl up after she's been saying she's community property, you deserve everything that happened to you in that situation. If she break your heart, stump on it, pull it apart, guess what? You deserve it. Straight up. No man in their right freaking mind should ever even come anything near a girl like that. It's so sad. Like I said, it have to be a serious drought in this world for men to be lining up, trying to stroke a girl with other men's DNA on them. That's disgusting, man. Now pay attention. Notice how the article has empowering at the top of it. This is horrible. And they promoting this for young girls to be like this. Empowering. All this just to get some views, attention. Before I get out of here, y'all, let's get the money on point. Let's get the mind on point. Let's get the body on point. Develop them social skills. And last but not least, get you a passport travel to a destination you're liking. Because once you see it, you can't unsee it. You know, you get a glimpse of what that, Ireland, that girl from Ireland was like. You know what I'm saying? Shooting her shot. Nice, smooth. You understand what I'm saying? And he won't be sitting there lining up to be in line to go stroke a girl. They got another man um, DNA all over him. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think inside the comments, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Yeah, got the streets on fire, feel the heat, the wane, way. Ain't never had no handouts, put in work, I'm self made. Superhero strength, I got the power, Luke Cage. Flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real rap, no.